basically we're in guard here, okay? So say, boom, you're in guard, right? A nice thing to do, just say, like, you're initiating your pass, the guy's really threatening you, right? Like, first thing, just initiate and get a secure position. Whether that's, like, pinching your knees, keeping upright like this secure, but sometimes too, like you could be here trying to get this position and he keeps trying to pull you in, trying to go for submission. So right away, two hands on the bicep. So if that's the case, bam, two hands on the bicep, you're gonna basically pinch your uh, knees in and then you're gonna like bring your elbows to your knees and you keep everything nice and secure. So if they try to go right, reach your hand, stuff like that, it's gonna be hard. If they try to move side to side, it's gonna be hard. If they try to sit up, it's gonna be super hard. So this is a good like initiating your pass. There's different passes, right? We can pass from here, boom, stuff the knees start to stand up, right? But we're just gonna look for posture. So we're gonna to start to get the right hand into the lapel here, and then the other hand on the hip, right? Anytime. Sort of before, squeeze your knees together, right? Get good base, sit in between your knees, okay? Or so your feet, your ankles, but your ankles. Anytime now, your partner tries to pull you forward, you're gonna lift your hips and pretend like it's like a, a counter punch. So anytime he tries to come forward, you're countering that with another uh, uh, action. So the second he pulls you, before he can pull you fully, you're going to posture up and you're going to shoot your hips forward. Right? Boom. Right? Now we can keep good base. Anytime, boom, that stops him from doing what he's going to do. Okay? Now, I can keep this in the collar. Keep that hand on the hip, because look, if I start to pass like this and his hips are high, shoot them up high. I can try to push his guard open all day. I have to open up his legs back, like his legs need to stretch that way. So if he's on top of my knee, his legs are so stretchy, but if they're down and I get that knee in the butt, his legs, the second I go backwards, like his legs can't stretch this way anymore. So I, I couldn't, I couldn't get up. Yeah, I just keep going backwards, backwards. They um, come open. We'll get to that in a second. So I'm here, boom, hand on the hip. Good posture. This knee opens up a little bit because look, if I don't have it open and I put my right knee into the sit bone and I come here, they can just move their legs and knees this way and take me that way, right? Anytime my chin goes back, forward, side, off center with my hips and like belly button, okay? I'm out of alignment. It's easy for someone to really, really utilize that. So I'm here, here, I open it up. So that way I can stay nice and posture. It's hard for Ty, right, to sweep me that way. My right knee goes in this uh, sit bone, not tailbone, sit bone. Tailbone goes in a bit, sit bone comes farther out. It's just smarter. Boom, I'm here. From here, I open this knee a bit more, keep that posture. I call this the sweet spot because I already feel so much tension. I'm doing such a good job of grounding the hips that I just, I already knew his legs were gonna open the second there, I push back, so I'm here. If I do a bad job and his hips come up again, like lift them up, again, like there's no sweet spot, there's no tension, his legs are nice and strong. But if I'm down here and I push his hip down, open my knee, get my tail, like the second I put my tailbone in, because of his hips being glued down, it just pops open.